How's it going, folks? I picked up this bamboo rod today. I uh, got this idea last night when I was on the web, and I figured I would give it a shot. So I picked up a B&M pole. It's about 12 foot. I think I'm only going to use two of the sections, though. Um, if I add the third section, it's just going to be really large and really overwhelming. But here's my plan, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put this reel on this rod and I'm going to do it in a Tennessee handle fashion so if you're not uh, if you're not aware or if you don't know what that is please stay tuned and I'll show you how I make my Tennessee handle um, it's pretty I guess simple so I'm going to put this reel on there later on I'm going to attach these as an eyelet maybe right here and then maybe two or three more down the line I went ahead and I wrapped some uh, string around this little metal piece. I don't know. The metal was so bright and it was just kind of bothering me. I mean, it, re it really shouldn't, but uh, I had the extra time. And I'm just trying to get my, my, my plan together before I, I make any uh, concrete decisions. So that's why I knocked this out real quick. Because I knew I wanted something right there. Again... Like I said, I'm gonna plan on making this like 90 degrees as much as I can, making eyes for my line, and then going all the way down. Here is the tip. So again, I'm, I'm really excited to bring back technology from the past, which is this old cane pole, and combine it with the technology of today. So please stay tuned. If you guys, I've given something like this a shot. Let me know what your guys' results were, if you guys were pleased, if you guys would change anything, if you guys would recommend anything. But yeah, it's gonna be really interesting. Again, I don't really have super high hopes. I'm not planning on using this to replace anything. I mean, if it performs better than you know my other rods, then shoot, I'm not against using it full time. But I am aware that it probably does have its limits. But I haven't even used it, so I'm just speaking, um, you know, speaking from my from my mind here and what I think I'll deal with. So I'm just looking around, making sure I'm not forgetting anything. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna give this a Tennessee handle with this reel. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna fasten these eyes with probably some string, and then go over it with. Uh, the super glue here. I may go over it with some lighter string to help me detect hits more. That's what I'm thinking. And I may go over this top guide here with some lighter string so that way I can see a little better. And you can even see that's that's what they used right here. They used a little safety pin. So I'm just gonna try my best to replicate it guys. So I'm really excited. Alrighty guys, so I just got my guide put on. First one. Basically got some 60, I think it's actually 50 pound braid around this little clip. Um, really excited, it looks pretty sturdy. You know, probably attach the top piece, I don't think I'm going to run any more. I'm probably going to have one. And then I have probably like one, maybe one or two more on the top piece besides the top eye. <coughs> I think it was awesome. I wound up taking off that hook keeper too, just because I saw it already interfering and I didn't want to, you know, frustrate myself or anything.
first fish, first real fish. This bamboo rod. I swore I saw maybe two or three following it, so I'm gonna this area, come back and fish it again. Yeah, bamboo rod held pretty good, to be honest. I'm gonna go back later, make some modifications, but overall it's holding up really good. Of course, I broke my thing. Okay. Take care of him. Let him go. I got another one. Look at that. Got another one. Doubled up without even trying. It's awesome. Double bass. That's insane, guys. I never had that happen. Let's see what happens. Try to put. Try spinning this thing around for you guys. I got two bass in my hands right now. I might be joking, I've never had this happen. This is so cool. Ooh, that's lucky, huh? So I caught this guy, and then when I put my rod down, this guy came up and hit it. It's so awesome. Hey folks, I took out my bamboo rod today and I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Caught about four bass. Two were really small, so I don't really count them. I mean, I do, I count them because I was able to detect their hits or, or know something was, was hitting it. So that's kind of nice. That's the only reason why I really like smaller fish is because I'm able to sharpen my skills and, and, and get my hook sets better and uh, detect their hits better. But the other two bigger bass, wow, those things took me for a spin. I wasn't sure how I should play them, if I should uh, horse them in like I do with my bass equipment or, or kind of let them wear themselves out. So I tried doing like a combination, you know, like I, I realized I was horsing them in and I tried to slow myself down and get it more, uh, you know, finesse, but something I got to work on, I guess. I'm going to add two more eyes, I believe, to this rod. I noticed that it's bending um, definitely up here towards the eye more, and maybe around here, I'm thinking. Uh, also, when I'm casting, my line's getting caught on some of these edges, so I kind of want to avoid that too. So I'm going to add two more lines later on, but uh, yeah, two more guides for my lines, and then I think this rod is going to be in good shape. I may reposition the handle. Um, I didn't realize that when I first taped it, again, this is my Tennessee handle, that it's kind of low. So I think I want it to be more up here more. Um, so that way I have better control. It's almost like in baseball when you choke up on the bat. That's the way I feel. I get a little bit more better control. So that's my plan so far, guys. Like I said, really pleased with it.